Rub up your engines! The doctor will see you now. All right, today I'm gonna show you a bunch of useful products that I've been trying out. I get them, I try them out. If they're good, I talk about them. Of course, if they're bad, I'll probably talk about them too, but that's another story. Now, the first one is this Vivor. It is a giant syringe. It's a fluid extractor. Now, being a cheapskate, I made my own a while back. <laughs> you can get these pretty cheaply, right? Put a little hose on it. The problem was, the diameter wasn't big enough, and this was kind of hard to push. So I broke down and bought one that's made for it, a Vivor. You can see, it's got a handle, you grab, so it's a lot easier to push and pull. It also comes with a bag full of adapters, so you can use it to extract and then put back fluid of any sort in any place. Now these are especially useful for transmissions, differentials, rear ends. We're sucking the old fluid out and putting new fluid in. As you may or may not realize, most modern cars with automatic transmissions don't have dipsticks anymore. You can't measure it. There is no dipstick hole to put the fluid in when you're done. So you find out where the extraction point is. You stick this in the hole. After you take the bolt off, you can suck it all out. And then when it's time to put it back in, you put new fluid in here and you push it right in. Hey, simplicity itself. It comes with all these adapters. It'll go into just anything that you want to take fluid out and put fluid back in. I bought it on Amazon. Now let me tell you, when you take the price of what a dealership wants to change your transmission fluid these days, some of them are three, four, five hundred dollars, just a little bit of money for one of these, and do it yourself. I got videos showing you how to do it. A little pump, hey, comes in real handy. Now they don't have good ones like that at auto parts stores. They have crappy little ones. Like the one I have hanging up here, but it's garbage compared to the new one I got. And of course you can use it for sucking brake fluid out of the brake canister. Power steering fluid when you're doing that. And I guess if you had a really big turkey Thanksgiving, you could use it on your turkey for basting it, I suppose. <laughs> Now the next thing I talk about is both for fun and security. It's this Rove R24K Pro dash cam. That is, you can read the whole thing right there. Now dash cams have come a long way, smaller, better video, and better features. And I'm having a lot of fun with this one. As you can see when you turn it on, there it is, it's setting itself up. Video mode, recording started. Of course it does audio and video recording, shows your speed there, zero. So let's say your speedometer breaks, you can use this for your speedometer. And now you can mount it over here and have it as a speedometer if you wanted to. And if you want to install the three lead hardware kit, you don't have to have ugly wires plugging it into the cigarette lighter and running the wires. You can wire it permanently to the car if you want. And then you'll have all kinds of security because then the system will take pictures. Somebody bumps your car, hits your car when it's parked and you're not in it. It'll record it all and hopefully it'll be at a good angle where you have the camera that you get the person's license plate out of. And with technology being what it is, the little book it comes with is I'm not making this up. 78 pages long. Yeah, it does that many things. It has a GPS mode. It even has a way you can stamp a car's license plate or driver's ID onto the video to show who you are. And as you can see here, there's a TV out. You can play it back on your big screen TV if you want. And of course it has a Wi-Fi setup so you can watch it through your phone. And it has a G sensor so like I say, if you wire it up permanently to the car, even though the camera's not recording now, it has a G sensor and it feels a bump on the car, turns it on and films it. And the interesting thing about this is, it doesn't use a lithium battery. It has a super capacitor in it. So, in case you get in an accident, the super capacitor locks the video so you don't lose the video if you were in an accident. Super caps can last a lot longer than a lithium battery. You don't have to worry about a possible fire from a lithium battery. They don't have lithium batteries. I've never seen a super cap go on fire. You still have to have it wired directly to the car or plugged into the cigarette lighter because that's what powers it all the time. But the memory and everything is saved by a super cap. Every year the lithium batteries will go bad. I got a super cap and a flashlight a company sent me 10 years ago and it still works perfectly fine. As far as I can see the super caps have unlimited lifespan because they just store electricity for a short period of time and then use it. In this case plugged into cigarette lighter. So the cigarette lighter keeps the super cap charged. You get in a wreck and power gets lost, the super cap will automatically save the video so you won't lose the video if you get in a wreck 
and it's somebody else's fault. But of course, if it was your fault, you probably would want to lose the video then. <laughs> These things work both ways, right? So, I mean, since this thing has all these features, GPS, 4K, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, it's been a quite an impressive little dash cam. If you catch something interesting while you're driving around, hey, upload it on YouTube. Now, the next thing I've been testing out is this Dewalt battery charger. Hey, it's a handy thing to have a battery charger, right? In modern cars, the battery's a lot more complex than they used to be. There's all kinds of different batteries, different ways of charging them. Of course, this thing has a microprocessor, so it will charge your battery correctly, not overcharge it and destroy your battery. And I like it because, hey, check it out. Everything folds up neatly, then comes out so you don't lose pieces. Nothing more annoying than losing wires and pieces. Rolls back up and on itself, doesn't take up much space, but mainly you're not going to lose the parts. Positive and negative, positive on a positive, negative on a negative, and you can see thick metal. This isn't a chintzy little thing. The chintzy ones, they don't get on tight, super tight. Nice thick wire. It's now showing you the voltage battery and we'll do the charge. And what it does is it checks it gradually, sees what state of charge is, and it starts charging it. You notice it's intelligent. As it goes on, it puts less amperage in it. Charges it gradually. See the amperage is starting to drop as it's charging it. These intelligent battery chargers are a wonder. Back in the day, guys would just put a big old charger. Sometimes they'd put a 40 amper on. They'd boil the electrolyte out, ruin the battery. This is totally battery safe. I want to test the alternator, okay? We'll just go inside, start up the car. There it is. Alternator is good. Can it get any simpler than that? You can see it's a quality unit. That's a cooling fan, it's not going to overheat. And being an intelligent battery tester, you don't need to know much. Plug it in, turn it on, it automatically adjusts the charging. See, before it was 9 amps, 8 amps, now it's 6.3 amps. It puts less amperage in as it's reaching a full charge. That makes this thing safe for motorcycles, riding lawnmowers. And if you're really stuck with a dead battery, check it out. Got a 1,000 amp engine start. So it can pump 1,000 amps and an emergency starting. You got a really dead battery, hey, it's gonna start it up. And it also tells you how to use it correctly. Look, if you use the engine start, you turn it on, wait five seconds, then you start the car. If for some reason it cranks and it doesn't start, then you turn it off for five minutes and start over again. I don't know how many tools and stuff I've gotten over the years have no directions whatsoever. You could destroy the car, you could destroy the charger. They were smart. They put the directions on it. Five seconds, wait five seconds, then start it. If it starts, great. If it doesn't, then you wait five minutes for the device to cool down because a thousand amps is a lot of power. And you can see now in a short time we're talking, now it's all the way down to 4.6 amps. It charges less and less until the battery's fully charged. I've been very happy with this Dewalt charger. Hey, I got a lot of Dewalt tools, air tools, electric tools. They generally make pretty good tools. And this, you can see, is pretty much foolproof. You plug it into 120 volts here in the United States. Pretty simple, right? And then you put red on positive and black on negative. That's it. The rest, you just push the buttons and it does its thing. Now the next product I'm talking about is this Rio Link security camera system. Now I talked about them before. You can see I got another one over here. Now this is a fancier one that you can set up wherever you want. Because unlike my old one, this one has a battery built in and you can put a cord and hook it up to the real link solar panel. So you can put it wherever you want. So unlike my old system that's limited to wherever you can have power plugged in, the new one can go anywhere. It's got a battery in it and you can run it off of solar power. I mean, if you want, you can plug it into a wall, too, if you want. It's the same as a cell phone. It's just got a C clip that you plug into it. But you can put this wherever you want. And seeing that it's got a lot of tiltability, it can look all over the place. A lot more than the old one. You can see it can scan all around, and it can also go up and down. It goes all over the place. And here it comes back up. You can really do a lot of scanning with this thing. And I do have to say, the company's come a long way. When they sent me this one years ago, I do have to admit, it took me hours 
to figure out how to hook it up. A real pain to hook up, but not the new one. It took me like five minutes. It does a pretty good job. Yeah, there's a little time lag, of course. What do you expect, you know? But it's great for security of your garage. And since they've updated the system, it was so easy to install. Like I say, it was a real pain installing the one two years ago, but this one took me five minutes. It was up and running. And I just put it here for demonstration purposes, but with the solar panel, hey, you can mount them wherever you want. Like up there on the outside of the garage. So there you have it. A whole bunch of tools that actually work. And in that vein, I love testing things out. If you've got a product you want tested out, send it to me. I don't charge anything. I just test them out honestly to show people. I feel sorry for little guys that have good product and they can't market them. Hey, send them to me. If they're any good, you can help everybody out. Hey, I'm all for the little guy, not the big corporation. So, if you got anything interesting, hey, just get a hold of me, send it to me, I'll try it out. So, if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.